person. A lot of people think that's funny where I work on a farm. I'm a farmer, not a morning person. But if I went to bed earlier, I was gonna go to bed at a good time last night and then I forgot one of my things on my to-do list that I needed to do and and I didn't want to put it off till today because today Stan and I are processing Samantha's old <clears throat> egg laying chickens and I can take all day and ugh, so yeah, late night early morning well early morning to me and now heading to the farm uh, yeah we're uh, these chickens that we're processing they're gonna be stew chickens and with what Stan looked up Apparently with older chickens, you need to stew them or, you know, put them through a process like an instant pot or something to make them tender. And I will for sure do a recipe on that and we'll try it out to see if, uh, if an instant pot will work just as well. But anyway, so apparently you need to, you know, stew them. But the article that he read said that the flavor in broth is to like the best compared to a younger chicken. So I'm really interested in that because I really like making uh, bone broth with, uh, I mostly done it with uh, ch with chickens. And so it'll be interesting to try it out with a uh, stew meat chicken. So anyway, let's get to the farm. I have a couple things to do with the cows and then let's get some stew chickens. Moxie, you say hi. Yeah, hi, hi, yeah, oh, you're so silly. All right, we're, we're not ready. Your dad's gonna cut them. So we are processing Samantha's old chickens today and a couple of roosters, because roosters are pretty, but they can be mean. So, who do we got here? Mr. McGregor. Oh, he is quite pretty. Let's, we try not to think too hard about this. So anyway, we're gonna, right here, Stan will cut the artery, put them on upside down, and their blood will go into these compo compost things. By the way, if you're squeamish, don't watch this video. Just just move along, come back, come back tomorrow. And then after the blood's drained out and their nervous system starts, stops tweaking, we come over here and we dunk them in for a little bit and that just helps loosen the feathers and stuff. And then over here is the plucker. We turn it on and this spins and it it's a miracle. It just takes all the feathers off. And in like what, 30 seconds if that? Like real quick. And then at this table, Stan will do some basic uh, removal of some bird stuff. Won't go too into detail. And any fish, any feathers. And then over on this table, we're going to use these beautifully sharp knives and um, remove feet, heads, and insides. Yeah, we'll just leave it at that. And then we'll put the everything that we cut on ice in these coolers. We will be saving heart, liver, and feet for anyone who's interested in that. And then everything else we're going to cut up or leave it whole. We'll do a little bit of both for some stew meat. So yeah, I'm just gonna do a little bit of a time lapse. So hopefully you won't see too much if you don't want to, but if you are interested in seeing something, let me know and maybe you can come visit us. I don't know if I wanna put that whole video on YouTube. So anyway, here we go. finished processing those chickens well this part now we're gonna go inside and cut them up a little bit more to make them easier to put in a crock pot or an instant pot so let's go do that
we're done harvesting chickens. We started at 11. We just finished at 8, putting the last ones in the freezer. It's been a long day. It's been a really long day. <laughs> um, but now we have some really good looking stew chickens ready for sale. And we also saved livers, hearts, and feet for those who know the health benefits of those. We have those available now for you as well. Not too many. We tried to save just the best. Um, so we cut up probably about half of them to make them easier. Like for me, my slow, my Instapot isn't quite as big. So some of these birds, I wouldn't be able to get a full bird in it. But with them being cut up like they are now, you still get the full bird, but it's just gonna be easier to put in and you'll still get the benefits from stewing the bones because there's a lot of health benefits from bone broth and we'll go over that another time. All right, just got home. Gonna get this video up and then uh, shower. Oh, I'm gonna shower first because I don't want to know what's on me after processing uh, 30 chickens. Nasty. You're gonna take a shower and then get this video up and then hopefully be to bed before 10. Fingers crossed. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little peek into how we process the chickens. Um, we we really appreciate our animals and and but also when they've done their part in life, they move on to another part to nourish us in a different way. And look forward to trying out these stew hens. Maybe next week for Recipe Wednesday, I'll do a little comparison video to the young meat chickens versus the older stew chickens. And I'll have to see what we can see. So, have a great night. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.